Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. I hope you're having a great day. And do I have one cool forward slash very unique truck and trailer to show you. I've got a 2020 Peterbilt 579 chassis with the Swabby four-door conversion. Uh, seats seven people, good horsepower, the right transmission, etc. So this truck's got it all going on. The trailer is a 2016 model Featherlight 40-foot vending trailer. Aluminum construction, feather-like quality that we've known for a long, long time. Those guys build nice stuff. So let me show it to you. And uh, many of you may know uh, Dennis Swaby that built these trucks uh, is no longer building them. So what's going to happen to these trucks? Well, the value is going to skyrocket on them. Um, this is a 2020, 14,700 miles it's got the Cummins X15 450 horse motor, and that motor can be tuned. Pretty dang sure you can get 500, maybe even 550 horsepower out of the Cummins X15 uh, that this one has. Uh, it's got the um, ultra shift transmission in it with 1,650 foot pounds of torque. So take you around. We're gonna show you the inside of the truck, inside of the trailer. And guys, this one is a looker. As you can see, uh, chrome front bumper, chrome drop visor. It's even got like some emergency lighting on it um, that, you know, is made to, uh, if you're at an event, you can get attention. Or if someone buys this truck and it plans on, you know, hauling um, equipment or boats or whatever, uh, it's got some emergency lighting built in the grill. And then it also has it up on the back. We'll turn that on before we stop the video here. So a uh, four-door truck holds 130 gallons of diesel. So you've got a 50-gallon tank on the driver's side, 70 gallons on the passenger side. Uh, black leather interior, again, 14,704 miles uh, to be exact. Uh, it's got the uh, in-dash Bluetooth, stereo, navigation, uh, CB radio, overhead, DVD player, as you can see there, air ride seats, loaded, 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 okay? Let's go back here to the back. I've got both sets of original keys with this truck. So then back here, you have two more seats, and then you have a little bench seat. Now, this will fold down. If you'll check out the photos on our website, chasecoach.com, you'll see some pictures um, you can seat three people back here with plenty of room, or if you're traveling, uh, you're wanting to pull over, take a quick nap, or get some rest for the night, this back bench seat will convert into a bed. Nice overhead lighting, a little center console there. Very, very, very nice. 2020 model, Peterbilt 579 with a Swalby conversion. So some of these are titled as RVs. Um, and how they do it, they put a roof air, a generator, and they have like a little portable uh, toilet, and they have a little um, like Yeti ice chest, okay? That will classify it as an RV. And we, we have the capabilities of doing that. So we can mount the generator, we can put the onboard roof air, we can put the ice chest and the little portable toilet in it. Uh, and we can register it as an RV for you. So that is an option. Uh, just give me a call, my cell phone, 270-556-8461, and we can discuss that further. Um, the uh, the last 579 Peterbilt Swalby truck that I sold had the generator, had the roof air, so on and so forth, and it was titled as an RV. So if that helps you, that's something that we could, uh, we could help get done. Uh, it's got storage on each side. Uh, the last truck I sold had a generator over here. So again, if we put the generator in, it'll go uh, in this storage. I can open it up, but you got a great amount of storage on each side. Uh, little air shock doors that opens and closes each one. Uh, it does have an air ride hitch on the back, uh, as you can see. And it's also got a 20,000 pound uh, receiver hitch. So if you're just wanting to pull something, a uh, tag style trailer, don't worry, that's fine too. Um, back of the truck, 
got a couple stainless doors there, mainly just storage, uh, tie downs. Uh, you could put some of uh, the plastic like race fuel jugs in there. Uh, just basic storage for whatever you need. I'll give you a view of this side, get both doors opened up. And also, I want to show you how clean this thing is under the hood. Very, very, very nice. Comfort for seven. Probably, horsepower-wise, probably the most comfortable truck you're going to find to seat seven people. Travel in style, right? When I heard Dennis had quit making these trucks, I was blown away, which Dennis had a great career in this in this business. Uh, he built a uh, incredible name, uh, as most of you, if you've ever seen his quality of his trucks, uh, second to none. I've heard that he sold the business, uh, that maybe someone bought it and will continue building them. I sure hope so. Uh, that's hearsay. There's no confirmation on that. All right, here we go. There you go, X15 Cummins. Look at the how clean. We just serviced the truck. So uh, again, with 14,700 miles, we figured we would go ahead and, um, and get it serviced. That way, whoever buys it is ready to run another 12 to 15,000 miles. So to be ready to go. Tires, great condition. That's one of the first questions we get is what kind of shapes the tires in. Uh, they're dated, uh, let's see here. I found it 16 of 20 on uh, the uh, passenger side steer. So uh, tires, Michelins, great condition. I'm going to say less than 5,000 miles on them. I don't think this truck came factory with Michelins, and they that's why they did change them out. They wanted the Michelin tires, so that's what they got. All right, let's focus on the trailer. 2016 model Featherlight vending trailer. So this trailer was built and used to sell T-shirts, die cast, stuff like that for the legend, Donnie Schatz. World of Outlaws sprint car driver. If you've ever watched or heard of sprint cars, you will know who the number 15 of Donnie Schatz is. So this trailer was built new for Donnie. They used it on the road following the World of Outlaw sprint car tour, selling hats, T-shirts, die cast, koozies, beanies, you name it. Um, the second owner was a gentleman up in North Dakota, uh, close to where uh, Donnie lives, and he had a bunch of car dealerships, power sports dealership, and he used it as like a mobile um, way to sell parts and apparel and stuff at some events. So uh, we have the trailer now. It's in our possession. We have the truck and the trailer, and we're selling them as a package, and we will also sell them separately. So the trailer's a 2016 Featherlight Air Ride, Air Brakes, uh, on 22 five-inch wheels. It's got the big uh, marquee that'll stand up there on the top when you get parked. Hydraulic door that opens up on the side, as you can see all the lighting underneath. And guys, I, I know you might be able to buy a 40-foot new uh, vending trailer, you know, a very basic setup for... 70, 80 grand. I bet you if you called Featherlight right now and priced this trailer with a 20 kW generator, the 22.5 semi wheels on it, and the whole bit, I'm going to bet you 300,000 to build this trailer brand new. I bet I'm not that far off. So, as you can see on the interior, Featherlight quality everywhere from the cabinets to the floor. It's even got a little loft area for extra storage. Check that out. Probably, I'm going to say 10 or 12 foot long and whatever the width of the trailer is, probably 90 inches wide up there. Just a little loft for extra storage. Um, and then the floor is kind of a textured finish, rubbered floor. Uh, and then up here you've got, um, you know, places where they had all the t-shirts and all of the caps and stuff um, pinned up against the wall for sale. Lots of cabinets down here. Very nice. Overhead ceiling fan. Uh, glass cabinets where you can set stuff that you're selling. This trailer, I'm going to say it could be used for other stuff, but, you know, I mean, it's really built for a sole purpose of vending. And I think you would agree with me. To change it up or to really do anything else with it would be tough. 
it was built for vending, and I think, you know, whoever buys it uh, is probably going to use it for that. But very, very, very nice, guys. I know I've said that a bunch, but I'm always impressed with the quality of the Featherlight and then, um, you know, Dennis uh, Swalby and the uh, Swalby trucks were were really cool. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, overall length is 63 foot hooked together. Uh, 63 foot. So the trailer's 40 foot. The truck's, I think, 27. But um, being as it is a gooseneck hitch, uh, when you merge them together, you know, the trailer uh, hangs over the back of the truck just a little bit. It's 63 foot total. Um uh, trailers, you can see matching spare tire up under the tongue. Trailer's got the big um, 20 kW generator. It's got two air conditioning units, and this is not like roof airs. This is like full blown uh, commercial stuff. Uh, very heavy duty, uh, built to last. And uh, you know, sprint cars uh, when it was built new for Donnie, the sprint car season's in the summer, so very hot out, and they wanted to keep those guys cool. But uh, Donnie did not own the truck originally. The truck. Um, and trailer were merged together a couple years ago, and then the you know the truck was wrapped with the trailer to match. We can peel the wrap off, so we can peel the wrap off. Uh, we have uh, we do a lot of the wrap stuff here locally, so we can peel the wrap off. We can add your logo. We can design it, do whatever. We can make the truck white again, so the truck is white underneath that wrap. But um, we can uh, we can build it out to suit your needs. How about that? Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Share it with your buddies. I uh, would love some input from you. I'm trying to get better at every video we do here. So let us know uh, if we can help you. We buy, we sell, we trade, we consign, we finance, we deliver nationwide. A to Z. Got you covered. Give me a shout. Thanks.